We are back with our breaking news coverage, and you're looking at video from earlier today of Israeli tanks and troops gathering in southern Israel. More than 300,000 Israeli reservists have been called up as the country prepares for a possible ground operation in response to the surprise terrorist attack by Hamas on Saturday. Remember, Israel has conscription. CNN's Jeremy Diamond is on the ground in Ashdod and has this report on one of the largest mobilizations in the history of Israel. At a military base in southern Israel, columns of Israeli Merkava 4 tanks stand at the ready, awaiting orders for an invasion of Gaza that everyone expects, but no one has yet commanded. This is a country on a war footing. The Israeli military has called up more than 300,000 reservists. It is one of the largest mobilization efforts in this country's history. And this right here behind me is that mobilization effort in action. You are witnessing thousands of reservists, Israelis from all across the country, coming to this military base in southern Israel to begin to prepare for the next phase of this military campaign. But it's not just the scale that makes this mobilization different. I've been in all the campaigns in the last 30 years. Never, never something like this. For the soldiers converging on this base, the shocking brutality of Hamas's surprise terrorist attacks is still reverberating. Every person in Israel has lost someone. Every person. I've been in Amsterdam till, till Wednesday morning, uh, till... Uh, uh, Monday morning I came here, you know, to enlist to the army and to fight those bastards. It's a very emotional moment. A very emotional moment, yes. When you see children die and keep nodding, it's... It's like an animal, it's not... Driving down roads east of the Gaza Strip, preparations for the next phase of Israel's military campaign are everywhere. Trucks loaded with ammunition, armored vehicles, thousands of Israeli soldiers mobilizing, and just seven miles from the Gaza border, this formation of armored personnel carriers. We are about a dozen kilometers from the Gaza border, about six or seven miles. And what we are seeing here are the preparations for what many people in Israel believe is going to happen next. And that is the possibility of a ground invasion. You can see here uh, armored personnel carriers, perhaps nearly two dozen of those, as well as trucks, uh, and you see soldiers all here uh, preparing for the next phase of this war. But amid the preparations for tomorrow's battle, today's is still very much alive. And Jake, just to put that number of 300,000 reservists being called up into context, that is 4% of Israel's population. But perhaps what is more startling is that that number is nearly equal to the number of total forces in the U.S.'s military reserves. That number is 331,000. And when you consider the fact that the U.S. population is 34 times larger, it really helps you understand the scale of this mobilization effort uh, here in Israel. Now, the question is, what happens next? We simply do not know yet. But all of the soldiers we spoke to today, all of those reservists, they all seem to believe that they are likely going into Gaza. But so far, the Israeli prime minister and his new emergency government have yet to actually announce or make that decision.